Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and if this is your first time on my channel, I want to welcome you. I really hope you will enjoy watching this video, my other videos and maybe consider subscribing. I would love that. Subscribing is completely free. Just click that uh, red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. I do have a lot of good videos planned for the month of December. I am a big foodie. I like to eat food and I like to prepare food. But I'm sure all of you can agree that in today's world, we don't have a lot of time uh, to make food. We're busy with work, we're busy with our kids' practices, whatever it could be. We just don't have a lot of time to cook big dinners or actually to take a lot of time to cook dinners. I'm sure many of you already have a pressure cooker or instant pot, whatever you want to call it. I did not have it so far and I really, really wanted it. So when uh, Redmond Company reached out to me to review this product, I was super, super happy and I jumped right into that opportunity. I already worked with this company. Um, I reviewed their three-in-one waffle maker and if you haven't seen that video so far, I'm going to link it up here in the cards and in the description box down below. It is an amazing product. You should definitely check that one out. But let's go back to my pressure cooker. So I got it approximately 10 days ago and as soon as I got it, I decided to research some good um, recipes online. But the good thing is you don't have to go far. At the package also came with a booklet with 100 different types of recipes anything from uh, main meal to desserts and it's amazing so i decided to prepare um, two different kinds of recipes i wanted to show you how i did it uh, one was um, turkey uh, chili and the other one was broccoli cheddar soup those type of food we like to eat in these uh, cooler nights and I just couldn't believe that I am able to make something like this in little as 30 minutes. To be honest, my soup was done in 15 minutes. I just couldn't believe it. And the taste was even better than when I was making it on the stove. Everybody in my family liked it and I just can't wait to show you guys. So let's go in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I made those. So this is how the pressure cooker looks like. It comes with a few different types of cooking options as you can see over here the design of this pressure cooker is very beautiful and sleek it comes with a few different cooking gadgets and also the cookbook that i mentioned earlier The cooking bowl is ceramic with non-stick coating and it has capacity of 16 cups. And now let's start with the first dish that I made. First thing, I pressed the saute option and then I went ahead and added a few drops of extra virgin olive oil and my ground turkey. I sauteed my ground turkey for probably a minute or two until it started browning. Then I added half of medium sized chopped onion and I also added one clove of chopped garlic. I stirred it and then after the turkey was browned, then I added one can of each black beans, kidney beans and corn. After that, I added one can of diced tomatoes and making sure I stir everything often. Next, I added half a chopped um, red pepper and half a chopped uh, yellow pepper. It is totally your preference what kind of peppers you want to add. After that, um, I added different kinds of spices, salt, pepper, oregano, paprika, um, cumin. I also added uh, chili seasoning, but this is also your preference how much and what kind of seasonings you like to put. Next, I added one cup of water and I also added uh, one small can of tomato sauce. I stirred it really good and I added a little more paprika because I realized it needed a little more and that's it. 
close the lid, close the valve to um, close to make sure it cooked under pressure, and I press the button for chili. And after 30 minutes, you have a very delicious, flavorful chili. It was so easy to make and you have to forgive me this looked so good and i wanted to eat right away that i forgot to take a video and a picture of plated dish now on to the second dish on a sauteed option i added two tablespoons of unsalted butter then medium-sized chopped onion and i added one cup of each um, julienne carrots and um, celery and one clove of chopped garlic i stirred that for probably a minute or two and then i added one uh, head of broccoli florets cut in small pieces and then i added slowly two cups of um, vegetable broth you can use any kind of broth you like i used vegetable broth add any kind of seasoning you'd like i just added salt and pepper and that was it Next step is to close the lid and put the valve on a closed position and let it do its thing. It literally took only four minutes for it to be completely done. And while I was waiting for it to be done, I melted half a stick of butter and um, four tablespoons of um, flour and added just a little bit of water to make it like runny consistency and after i opened the lid of the pressure cooker i added that roux to my soup i put it on a salted um, option again and i uh, made sure to stir slowly and then i also added two cups of uh, whole milk stirring it the whole time the soup will thicken up a little bit after a few minutes and then I added shredded cheese. It's your preference how much I added almost the whole block of eight ounces. Stir it a little more and that's it. Your soup is completely ready and it tastes amazing. I used to make the soup all the time and it took me probably 30 to 45 minutes to cook it. I cannot believe that this was completely from the beginning till the end done in 10 minutes. And you saw how beautiful those two meals turned out. They were super delicious. Everybody liked them in my family and my son even ate it. Pressure cooker is so easy to use. I was really, really worried at first how I'm gonna use it, but it is very easy to use and it's very easy to clean. This will be a perfect gift for someone, um, especially for this upcoming Christmas season. I know how happy I was to receive one. And if you would like to purchase it, there is going to be a link in the description box down below. And don't forget to use the code SAVE to save $20 off of your uh, purchase. That definitely is a great opportunity, so don't pass it up. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me. It helps promote my video on YouTube. Also, please click that red subscribe button. You're not going to regret it. I have amazing videos coming up in the future. Again, I want to thank Redmond Company for uh, providing this pressure cooker for me so I can show you guys uh, awesome meals that I made. And I really want to thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.